is coach uh, Sais on client who had to prove his uh, innocence. The client's uh, relatives were coming to New Zealand to visit and he suggested they transfer their spending money in pounds to his credit card to use over here. The IRD picked up on this uh, transaction and wrote to him, says Bocher. The IRD matched a uh, credit card transaction from an overseas registered card onto a New Zealand tax resident. Bocher also points out the 44,000 trade me uh, members that the IRD chased. As a result of the campaign, trade paid up three million in undeclared tax. Okay, so I think trade me is a great source, okay? <laughs> the IRD the is more onto. Onto means what? If you're onto some a plan or something like that, it means you know about it. You understand it. You know what's going on. Here, the IRD is more onto tax evasion than the public beliefs. In other words, we may think the IRD doesn't doesn't have much chance for tax evasion, but they do. They pick up stuff very quickly. Okay. Boucher cites or quotes. Cite here means quote. Quotes. One client who had to prove his innocence. Remember, you're always guilty until you've proved your innocence. The law says you're innocent until you've proven guilty. It doesn't work that way. You go to court, you're guilty, and you're there to try and prove you're innocent. Okay? The client's relatives were coming to New Zealand to visit, and he suggested they transfer their spending money in pounds to his credit card to use over here. So if they're in England, probably, they send a certain amount to this guy's credit card here, and it goes in his credit card, it goes in his account, okay? IRS, IRD picks it up, okay? The IRD picked up on this transaction, this caught onto this transaction, and wrote to him. The IRD matched a credit card transaction from an overseas registered card onto a New Zealand tax resident. Okay? So they made the transfer, the money goes into the bank, the IRD found it. Okay? Because I guess they monitor large money transfers. They do my money, okay? My money comes every month from America and there's when I look at it to see the balance, IRD has checked and taken some for itself. Okay? Mm -hmm. The IRD. No, on to. On to. Space oh, to. Yeah, and oh. In this case. This is space. No, in this case, register the card on to a and tax register. No, it's IRD is on to the transfer of money. Mm. Okay. So it's not the same as on to before. Knows about it. He's onto my plan. He, he knows. knows about it. In this case, the IRD knows about it. Also, same, same on two. In this case, credit card transaction from an overseas registered card onto a New Zealand tax. Oh, onto a New and has another meaning of onto. Mm, that is different. Too. Different meaning. Okay. Different meaning. <laughs> okay. Mm. Just putting money from A onto, onto yeah. B. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, Boucher also points out that the 44,000 trade me members, the IRD chase, mm -hmm. remember that? There was this big year or so ago, the IRD was going after all these trade me people who weren't paying tax on stuff that they sold on trade me. Okay? As a result of that campaign, traders paid up to $3 million in undeclared tax. Not a, you know, it's a good amount, $3 million. And there's probably a lot more that they haven't got, okay? So um, the IRD is pretty up to it, okay? Uh, of course, the people get through, slip through, but eventually, like everything else, you're going to get caught. You're going to get caught. In America, it's the same. A lot of people evade taxes, but they're just going to do something unrelated, and because of that, 
They're investigated. No, oh, you haven't paid taxes. Okay, and the same thing here. Okay, in America, if you're con if you're stopped for anything, speeding or anything like that, you're checked with immigration. You're checked with taxes. Everything. They run your name through the whole series. So instead of just getting a ticket, many illegal immigrants have been caught because they ran a red light, got stopped by the policeman, runs his name through the computer. Oh, you were supposed to leave the country three years ago. Bang, on a plane out of the country. Okay? IRD has pretty much the same power here. Okay? I'm afraid to be caught. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're caught and you've got a lot of explaining to do, then if you don't end up in jail, you've got to pay penalties. Okay. And you've got to pay extra money. You've got to pay the money you owe plus penalties. Maybe I'll go to jail. And the penalties pay more and more, build up more and more the longer you don't pay. Okay? <laughs> So it's a vicious circle. So the best thing to do is pay your tax. Okay? <laughs> pay your tax, keep the records, and you've got everything there to show if anybody questions you. Okay? Any questions? Taxes, no one likes taxes, but they're necessary to run a country. Without taxes, we couldn't have all the things that we get. Good medicine, all that sort of stuff. Okay? Uh, necessary. A necessary evil, we say. No one likes to pay taxes, okay? But something we have to do. And the more you're involved with money, the more taxes you've got to worry about, okay? Many people have the houses, but they have, uh, they rent. Nobody, nobody. They, they, they want the... He should pay or not, uh, most of them, <laughs> I mean, some people. If pay. they're renting a house, I suppose they've got to pay tax on it. It's income coming in, and they've got to... Uh, some people it doesn't do. Hmm? Some people. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Not many people don't do. Not many people don't do the pay tax. Yeah. I do. You or mm -hmm. good girl? <laughs> because they are ready to come to the, my mm -hmm. bank statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rent. So if, yearly, I need to take mm -hmm. to the... At the moment, it gets on your... Account? On the computer in your bank account, it's mm -hmm. open for IRD. It's yeah. open to the IRD. They can access anyone's account anytime they like. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now and again, they trawl through the records to see if anybody, you know, this looks doesn't look right. Don't check it. Now, if you get, that's why we're talking cash in the hand. There's no record of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're if you're a landlord and your tenants are paying money to your an account you've designated, mm -hmm. that's on the record. Yeah, but there is a record because of rent, the tenant paying to the accountant through the sure. rent road, but most of people doesn't yeah. pay the A lot of people yes. don't, sure. Mm -hmm. Some people pay me in cash every so month. Why, or every why week. income mm -hmm. IRD doesn't know that? No, maybe Just don't know, know that. Yeah. Okay? Maybe they don't follow up. Maybe nothing's happened that would cause them mm -hmm. to, like if I pay the plumber cash, IRD's not going to check, okay? Mm -hmm. They, they don't even know the deal's been done. Don't even know the deal's been done. Now, the where it might get caught is the owner, I don't know what the tax things are, he may claim that money as a deduction, and the ID says, oh, you're claiming this amount for plumbing, but we don't see anything from, they have to name who it is, we don't see anything, taxes from this guy, then that cause cause trouble, okay? So a lot of people just keep the money, don't worry about the deduction. They've got the money in their pocket. Okay? It's up to the individual. If you're willing to take the risk, you can probably get away with it for a while. But because there is one way, if IRD check to the bond center, because who sent the bond there, and they can see the old record, who has a bond, and bond means some tenant there. Yeah. It, but they not check everything. They just, like I said, they just check the records that are available. Mm -hmm. they, they, they have the authority, but they don't have the personnel and time to go knocking on every door and, you know, do you pay by cash, do you pay by direct deposit or whatever, direct mm -hmm. debit, okay? They don't do that. They it's do. when something goes wrong that those people are found out. It's, it's when something goes wrong, generally. A landlord maybe screws up or uh, the tenant screws up or something like that. Uh, but it, sure, it goes on. I have no doubt it goes on. Like I said earlier, there's people in my apartment block. Two young, a young couple, 
Dr. Fred. Now there's two other people living in there, and there's no doubt in my mind they are giving money to the tenants in that flat, and it's not being recorded to the landlord. No, no doubt in my mind. Okay, uh, that goes on all the time. I, I think uh, they, they don't have uh, enough people to chase the or yeah, maybe they, you're right. You're yeah. right. Uh -huh. They don't. That's that's what I just said. Yeah. They they don't have a lot of people. And it'd be a long time driving all over the place, following up addresses. You know, tw 20 years' time, once I had uh, IRD, mm -hmm. send the letter to find out all receipt of the expense. Okay. But 20 years' time, I had uh, a contract. My, my suggestion is, mm -hmm. you keep, if you do any Just major work, you keep mm -hmm. all the receipts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Keep your receipts. Even if they fill up a drawer, keep them. Okay? Because if someone from the IRD comes up and wants to check them, here you go, you sort it out. Here's all the receipts, okay? And that they, that's what they do. In America, they do the same thing. They'll come into the, they'll send a representative to the house, check your receipts, okay? You said this, okay, where's the receipt? Bang, okay? So keep your receipts. For you know, maybe grocery shopping, no. But TVs or something like that, any major jobs, keep the receipts. Because you never know when it may be checked. Okay. Also, question, please. Uh, the second, uh, yeah. the second Type Susie into the com that you have an IRD number. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Type your name, your ID number into the system, and then they check and see where that money's gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. See where that money's gone. See where that money has gone from your account. Because mm -hmm. if you transfer money from your account to somewhere else. It's recorded, mm. okay? And they, oh, here's, here's a cash withdrawal or cash transfer for $100 to this B&B here. Mm. Then they contact the B&B. &B. Mm. Where's the money? Mm. Where's the record of it? Mm. Okay? And if the B&B &B doesn't have a record, they've got a problem. What is cross means in this case? It just means using your name mm. to access your record, oh. okay? Mm. To access your record. Oh, okay. um, mm. uh, of all host, and also the B and B's host, mm. the B and B owners, okay. they cross reference their name with any payments that you may have made. Mm. Okay, and oh yeah, okay, she didn't declare this. Mm. We're short. Mm. Okay, so that's that's why computers it's dangerous these days because computers doesn't a few presses of the buttons and bang, mm. everything comes up. Okay. okay? Uh, yeah, addresses of all hosts and across them against each individual's tax return. So they'll cross reference, they'll get the name of the, your host, then if you file the tax uh, return. Cross the means double check. Well, the, double check. Uh, double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cross mm -hmm. reference is double check. Double okay. checking. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's quite common. People, they do it all double the time. Check. Okay. okay. Also, tax evasion does it have, have an effect? Tax evasion does it have an impact means. Uh, sure. It means if you don't pay your taxes, yep. somebody else has to make up your share. Mm. So if you don't pay your tax, somebody else, they don't know you, but mm. they're paying, their taxes are helping to pay for what you haven't paid. Mm. So it does have an effect. Mm. Okay? Mm. Uh, the people paying taxes are paying for the people who are not paying taxes, mm. basically. Mm. All these beneficiaries don't pay tax. Mm. But you're paying for their medical treatment, you're paying mm -hmm. for their mm -hmm. anything that they get that's government sponsored. Mm -hmm. You're paying their benefit. Okay. You're paying the benefit you're paying any beneficiary's benefit mm -hmm. benefit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because your taxes, it's tax money, benefit mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. So if you're paying taxes, you're paying the single mum down the street with six kids. Mm -hmm. You're paying for her. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's why people really don't like beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because they end up paying for these people. Mm -hmm. But if Greens come into power, they're going to increase the benefit by 20%, which I think is absolutely terrible. Okay. Any other questions? So tax is a complicated, complicated thing, okay? So you've got to be careful with your taxes. Okay, that's it, okay?